Hi to everyone. Today we will look at initial text baseline advance in Affinity Publisher version 2. And what I'm talking about is let's look at a, a resume like the one I'm showing you on the screen. Sometimes you will end up with a ugly text frame and a text inside just like this. So the uh, baseline advance is about how to make this text look uh, more presentable. Now I will go to my baseline grid and open it and show the baseline grids. Now baseline lines grid is all about its function is to make sure across text frames and adjacent columns the uh, lines uh, lined up horizontally uh, in a very pleasant and perfect manner. Without it, one line will be slightly down and the other one will be up depending on many factors. But what do you do when you end up with a situation like this? First off, open your baseline grid uh, dialog box, then go and click on the text and open your text frame dialog box. Okay. Now, uh, this modification of the text inside the text frame depends on quite a few factors like the, uh, the text size and the uh, distance between uh, baseline grid lines, baseline rules, uh, leading, which is the distance between two baselines, etc. This is why you will get a slightly different result every time you do this. There is no one single output of this procedure. So first off, uh, I select the first line and here this is this is the baseline of the first sentence first text line okay then in the text frame you will go to this vertical position group of controls now let's pay attention to the fact that here the grid spacing of the baseline grid is 24 points and on purpose, I also set the text size to 24 points. And here is the paragraph leading. I also set this exactly to 24 points to simplify things a little bit. Now, if this is the default look uh, which, with which we are not happy with, right? So what are the options here? One is leading. When I click this, the distance between top of the text frame and the baseline of the first text line is exactly 24 points, right? By design, therefore now this line sits right on top of this first baseline with a little comfortable breathing space on top which is a better result. The next choice is point size. Now nothing has changed because point size is equal to the leading size. Since they are equal, our text remains where it's at. Now the next is ascent, which slightly uh, lowers, lowers the text. Let me do it again. From, this is the difference between point size and ascent. And I have a confession to make. I have no idea what ascent does. Now, I am using version 2. So I go to help. Here's the proof. I'm using Affinity Publisher 2. I select help. And the help that shows up is, unfortunately, version 1 help. That's my honest assessment. I don't think this is version 2 help. Because when we go to the initial advanced section, there's leading fixed 
point size options, but where is where is the, the other ones, which I will come to very shortly. And my second beef with this uh, help file is the font size. Uh, I don't know if it's, it's not four points, but is it six points, eight points? It's, I wish there was uh, a size option for those with different eyesights. You know, we are not uh, like eagles. We don't have perfect eyesight. But anyway, I'm just pulling that out. And here are the other options. Cap height. When you select cap height, the top of the capital letter uh, is put right against the text frame. So that's one option you have. I don't know why you would use it except for some real creative design experimentation. Then comes X height, which takes the height of the small cap letters and puts it up against the text frame. And the most interesting of them all is probably the last one, fixed, which pushes the, the baseline of the first text line right up above the, uh, above the text frame, which is green. I made it green for you to see it easily. Now let's be, go back to the default value and select a different, uh, select a different text size. I'll make this 15. Okay, let me select everything and make it 15. Okay, now again, we start from the same position. Text uncomfortably, it's an ugly look, pushed right up against the uh, text frame. So when I set it to 15 points, I get a totally uh, different result. Okay. This is again the mysterious ascent. Cap height, still the cap will be pushed up against the text frame. That doesn't change. X height, this time you see, uh, yeah, this works out too with the uh, small cap letters, top of them, uh, pushing right against the text frame. And then fixed. Again, it pushes everything up above the text frame, which coincides by design with a, a grid line here. So by playing around with grid spacing, paragraph leading, and text size, you, you can get uh, different results with the, for the vertical position. But to be safe, my default value preference would be the leading option with which you will always get a comfortable result. And if you want to arrange the uh, left and right margin, you can always uh, do it through here. For example, if I select 15, this will be pushed towards right from the left edge. And you can get the same results with uh, other fields and other controls. So I hope this has been a good introduction to uh, initial advance of the first text line for a better documentation. I see you soon in another video. Bye-bye now.